this pie. And the pie I'm about to introduce to you is a pie that I think we've all shared. If you've been in a relationship, it's a pie you share. We'll put it this way. If you've been in a relationship between a man and a woman. Don't want to leave anybody out when I say these things, but uh, if you've been in a male-female relationship, this is going to be something you can relate to, and I want to talk about it. Um, there are certain things, it seems to me, that women do, and I, I don't know why they do them. Maybe you can explain it to me, because I know women know how men feel about them. There are certain things that women do to get our attention to, I think, almost put us to the test. Can I give you some of these? And maybe you can educate me on this. First of all, why do women go into stores and say, can you hold my bag for me? What is that all about? Now, the average handbag, especially nowadays, is not that big. It's small. What could you possibly be doing that you couldn't carry your bag, like, into a store? Or what have you? And why is it, knowing that men always stand there like, like you ask them to hold uh, 20 pounds of dog droppings, why is it that, that women make us carry their bag or hold on to their bag? I don't get that. But it's related to some other issues I want to talk about here. Now, I don't know why this makes people squeamish, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Tampons. I want to talk tampons with you for a second. Here's another test. Guys, how many times has your wife or girlfriend been in the store and said to you, Oh, honey, I forgot to get tampons. Could you go down to aisle four and pick some of those up? Did she ever do that to you? Why? Why? Now, a lot of guys are uncomfortable about that, but I've been around the bend a few times here. And I've been through this test, and I have been made to jump this hurdle myself. And uh, so, here's what I do. When a woman asks me to go pick up some tampons, I'm in the store, and I'm asked to pick up tampons, here's what I do. I yell at the top of my lungs. Honey! What kind did you want? They got deodorant or regular? Super absorbent or super duper absorbent? Which one do you want? Puts the ball right back in her court. You know what I'm saying? Puts the ball right back in her court. Suddenly, she's blushing. You want some light on? Here's you, I'm holding up the boxes. They will never ask you to do that again if you try it <laughs> responding that way. What is that about? Or sending us out to get tampons. Now, come on, ladies, un until you, uh, you know, until that time of hot flashes and stuff, till menopause, you're going to need tampons. How about, like, going down to, like, Costco, right? Or, uh... Cisco, if you live up in the Northeast, or one of these joints, smart and final, why not go in there and, like, pick up, like, a case of these things, all right? What is it every month with buying them in little packages and frequently, you know, waiting until it's too late and then sending us to the store? What is that all about? What is that all about? I don't get it. I mean, there are things guys need. I can tell you that, for example, I have, uh, I have run out of razor blades while I'm in the shower. The last thing I would do is say, Honey, can you drive down to the drugstore and pick up some razor blades for me? I need them. You know, if I don't plan in advance, if I don't pick them up, you know, tough. I go unshaven or I use a blade that's going to cut my face to ribbons. That's how it works. See, I think there's more to it than just it's another item on the shopping list. I think there's something going on there. Don't know what it is, but it's something.
got another one for you. Why do women drag us into stores like Victoria's Secret? Ever see the guys at Victoria's Secret? Nobody is comfortable there. No males are comfortable at Victoria's Secret. We don't like going in there. We are not comfortable in there. You know why? It's not because we don't like seeing women in stages of undress as they're trying on uh, 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 lingerie. That, that's not it. What it is, is it's an area that we are not experts on. We don't know what's going on. Men like to be in control. You know that. With certain exceptions. We like to be in control. So when we go into the store and we're in this area with sizes and fabrics and concepts we don't understand and we don't know how things hook together and you know what I'm talking about guys. We get into Victoria's Secret, we start to sweat. We don't want to go in there. How many times are you at the mall and she drags you in there? And then she goes to try something on and says, can you hold my purse? How many times have you been at Victoria's Secret and seen some guy holding a purse? standing around waiting for his girlfriend or his wife or who knows who to come out of there. So, um, I had to ask these questions. Uh, we were having a conversation about this today at lunch. Eric Stanger, our producer and uh, our associate producer, Mike Dooley, we were having lunch today and we were discussing this. And uh, I knew if we were having this kind of an animated conversation at lunch, I knew that somehow people are going to relate to what we're talking about, that this is definitely an issue or discussion. So let me give you our toll-free telephone number from across North America. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to get some theories on this. Sonia is calling from a car phone. Sonia, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sonia. I've always wanted to say that. And they... I know why women do this. Yeah. Because they're jealous. They think that if another woman sees their man in the store holding tampons or a purse, that that woman will know that this is someone else's man and stay away. So it's kind of like making a guy wear a wedding ring. Exactly. It's, it's, well, and it's kind of like peeing on a tree. This is my territory and stay away from it. So you think women do Is it subconscious or conscious? Uh, I think it's conscious. So I personally have never done this. But I think that it's conscious. So have you, you talked? Have you talked? Have you talked to other women about this? What? Have you talked to other women about this? No. So you think that women consciously are doing this? They're like sending their men out to get tampons. Wait a minute. Maybe they wouldn't have gone to the store in the first place. Or are you saying that they do that when they're in the store and they say, "Could you go to another aisle and pick this up?" Either one. Because women don't run out of tampons on accident. You're right. You know exactly that this is coming. It's no big surprise every month that you're going to have your period. And you're going to need tampons. You're going to need them till you're like 50 or more. Exactly. So why not like go out and just fill up the garage with cases of them? Now, this is just a theory. Well, I, I you know what? It, I, women it, who are single will go out and fill the garage with cases because they don't have a man. They don't need the territorial thing. Sometimes I wonder if it's just women wanting to get us involved. Well, that could be it, but... I don't know. I, I, just sometimes... I can't think of a single person that I would want to be involved in the whole menstruation process. Well, yeah, I, I would have to imagine it's like, uh, certainly not one of the pleasures of life. Right, and I don't even want to be involved in it myself, but I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, I understand that. Oh, but consider the alternative. This is true. All right, so, uh, all right, well, that's an interesting start to this conversation, Sonia, and I don't disagree with what you're saying. I think it's possible. I don't think we'll solve anything here, but it's certainly a good explanation. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate the call. I mean, come on, explain this to me. I want to understand this. I want to understand why this is. You know, can I, can I speak on behalf of all men? We don't like going to the store to buy tampons for you. We don't like it. There's no excuse for it. You buy the same damn brand all the time. Just stock up, okay? What's the deal here? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number 16 minutes after the hour. My name is Tom Likas, and we will continue. Coast to Coast, the Tom Likas Show. Satellite TV for Christmas? Good idea. 
Buying a dish that could cost you hundreds of dollars? Bad idea. Especially when there's Prime Star. Prime Star is a service, so there's no equipment to buy. You get the dish programming plus maintenance from Prime Star starting at about a buck a day. Plus, now sign up for multi channel HBO, Cinemax, or Stars, and the Encore Multiplex, and you'll get the first month free. Call 1 800 Prime Star or visit your local Radio Shack. Pricing and equipment may vary. Installation and premium services extra. If it were invented today, the creator would be called a genius. Imagine a pain reliever that does more than just relieve pain. It can actually reduce your risk of stroke and second heart attack. It's powerful enough to help stiff joints move more freely, yet gentle enough to take on an empty stomach. With a buffering system that contains calcium, they'd call it a medical miracle. But you can call it buffering. That's right, buffering. Ask your doctor how buffered aspirin from buffering may be able to reduce your risk of stroke and second heart attack. Use only as directed. That's my friend Mike. He's humming because, well, he doesn't want to hear me talking about prostate health there. I said it. Sorry, Mike, but those frequent trips to the bathroom at night? Well, you should know about Propomex. All natural Propomex supports prostate health. Two a day and in about four weeks you'll start seeing results. 1-800-5800-TOM-BETH. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Beth. <laughs> well, we love you here in Las Vegas. Now, Beth, tell me about this tampon. Okay. Don't... I know, just speaking from experience, to go into the store and buy one box of tampons without buying anything else, it's really embarrassing. For a, for a female, I'm, because when girls are raised, some girls, it's taboo to talk about that kind of stuff. Oh, but girls don't talk about tampons with who, each other? Sometimes they don't. I'm, I've seen girls in the restroom that have start. you know, they obviously they started their period and they're too embarrassed to go to that vending machine that they have in the women's restrooms and put a dime or a quarter in and buy a tampon. What is so embarrassing about it? I don't know, but I've seen it happen. And What is the point? And here's another thing, okay? <laughs> Women carry these god-awful handbags around yes. full of crap in them, okay? Mine is full of crap. How hard would it be to keep a couple of emergency tampaxes in there in case of emergency? How hard would that you. be? I hear you. I do, but it just seems that... Most women are embarrassed to buy it for themselves. If you've got a whole shopping cart... Oh, so, oh, this is interesting. So that's why they send us, because they're embarrassed. Right. That's my opinion. Because, see, like, my husband, he doesn't mind doing it at all, because it shows everybody else he's got a woman. You know, if he's carrying around a box of tampons, they're obviously not for him. So, like, if I'm going to the grocery store and I've got a whole shopping cart full of stuff, I don't mind buying them. But if I go in and just buy a box of tampons and go stand in line... I am terrified people are looking at me. Oh, God, she's on her period. Oh, boy. And uh, what do you think we're thinking when we see you buying tampons? I don't know. Oh, my. Oh, the humanity. God, she better not bend over. Anything might happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think we're thinking? Isn't that silly? I know. Who's look? You know what? When I go to the store, let me tell you, as just a dispassionate observer here, when I go to the store, I don't pay any attention to what other people are buying. I don't care. <laughs> It's I don't right. care. I've never cared. I know. Why is it we all think we're so important that everyone's looking at what we're doing? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just like something now, that shut me on. I will that. say when I, when I'll tell you what, when I am in the supermarket at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I see two drunken people, a guy and a girl, who are in there, and they've got a pack of Polaroid film and a six-pack. <laughs> I will admit my mind does start to wander. Don't okay? you have to stare? <laughs> well, at, that's a point when I'm staring, but come on. When people buy tampons or condoms, it's like, oh, that come is funny. on. I, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> Beth, thank you. All right, thanks. Appreciate the call. Okay, bye. Bye. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here is Don. Don, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Don. I have been dying to say that to you. Oh. I'm calling you from uh, Burlington, Washington, 60 miles. But the other women in the store will know that our men will do anything for us. It's a complete control issue. So, in other words, what you, what you believe is that buying tampons is the most humiliating, demeaning thing you can ask a man to do. Well, it's, it's up there. It's probably up in the top five. Really? Do you, do you happen to know any of the others of the top five? Well, in... Holding your, holding your handbag would be another one in the top five. Right. Yeah, that would be tough. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, 
bra, buying a bra. Buying a bra? Yeah. I, I, no one's ever asked me to buy a bra, because most women like to try them on. From yeah, like, we do. Mm -hmm. We don't need to worry about that with camp. You wouldn't trust, trust a guy to buy a bra. First of all, he'd probably think you're a, you know, a 42 triple D or something. How did you know, Tom? Oh, see that? <laughs> I've got x-ray eyes here, Don. <laughs> I just think that's what it is. It's a control issue. And, and when it comes to going into Victoria's Secret, I mean, heaven forbid that, that my man would come into Victoria's Secret and dare to say that something in there did not look good on me when there's a, the other women there. Oh, you know? oh, 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 you are, boy, I'll tell you, you are absolutely right on about that. The Tom Likas Show. 6.40 a.m., 105.7 FM. Your radio home for Atlanta's first news. News Radio WGST. AM and FM, Atlanta, Canton. The News Month. When news breaks out, we break in. 105.7 FM and 6.40 a.m. WGST. You can hear all the sirens going on. They judge the events that made us question. Yeah, people go by and said a bomb had gone off. They judge the people who made us talk. Mrs. Clinton, welcome to 60 and 6. They judge the moments that made us laugh. Oh my God, why you so bad? No, no. They judge the times that kept us going. Keith Callen, our squadron leader here. My name is Tom Clark, your official. The 1996 Achievement in Radio Awards and News Radio WGST is judged the best in Atlanta. The best spot news coverage. Centennial Park bombing. And we heard a massive explosion. The best interview. 60 at 6 with Hillary Clinton. That report true. Well, in fact, that bill was never. Best true. afternoon drive time show. Kim Peterson. Nine doubles are hard as a rock. I don't know about you. Best non drive time show. Saturday morning live. Welcome to Saturday morning live. The judges, our peers, learn what you already know. If you miss a day, you miss a lot. News Radio WGST. Sweater for John, bike for Claire. Peter's a problem. You know, a computer makes a great family Christmas gift. We've thought about getting one, maybe next year. Well, now through Tuesday at Sears Brand Central, there's no billing, no payments, and no accrued finance charge till March 97 on all computers, camcorders, DSS systems, and TVs over $499. Then again, there's no time like the present. Present. <laughs> 399 minimum dollar purchase on Sears card, API 21%. Minimum finance charge 50 cents. Regular credit terms apply after 0% finance charge period. See store for details. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. The whole world was watching. Where were you on July 20th, 1969? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Be there for the incredible journey as the Family Channel presents an all-new original world premiere movie, Apollo 11, Sunday, November 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern Pacific, only on the new Family Channel. Your home is the ultimate expression of your individual style. At Flax Interiors, we're truly dedicated to helping you express that style. Our talented interior designers help you select the interiors that suit your personality. Flax Interiors represents only the finest designer lines, including Henredon, Ralph Lauren, Drexel Heritage, Baker, and our own exclusive decorative accessory line, Hilda Flack Accessories, to name just a few. Our tremendous selection and the award-winning talents of our interior designers assure our clients a beautiful home that reflects their taste, not ours. For the finest furnishings, accessories, and advice, visit Flax Interiors. As the holiday season nears, Hilda Flack Interiors is decking their halls and trimming the trees. The most beautiful boutique in Atlanta offers you the finest holiday accessories, unique gifts, and decorating tips. Visit Hilda Flack Interiors at Phipps Plaza this holiday season. At NTW, we go through thousands of changes every day. Tire changes, that is. But one thing never changes. We guarantee you the absolute best price on the tires you need every day. No exceptions, no qualifications. NTW got the tire that's right for you. That's because NTW offers a low price guarantee in writing on the best selection of top brand name tires like Michelin, BF Goodrich, Pirelli, Dunlop, and more. In fact, NTW price shops the competition every day. And if our prices aren't the absolute lowest, we lower them. NTW also promises your tires will be ready when we say they'll be ready. Of course, none of this will surprise anyone who's already been to NTW. But if you haven't, you might want to go where you can get the best prices on the best tires. For a change. NTW, lower prices you won't get. NTW, cost the tires, we are it. 
Monday at 5, it relieves tension and affects migraines. Eliminates PMS and helps fight disease. Could the power to heal be at your fingertips? I feel great. I feel great. Eyewitness News investigates Monday at 5 on Channel 5. This November, the news to watch will watch out for you. Channel 5 Eyewitness News investigates every day at 5, 6, and 10. Eyewitness News investigates medical, consumer, criminal, exclusive. Showing you all sides of the story. Exposing the scams, rip-offs, and the truth from Georgia's leader in investigative journalism. Weekdays at 5, 6, and 10. Channel 5 Eyewitness News investigates. See for yourself. Monday at 5. Within a matter of minutes, your car could be turned to stolen parts. Watch Monday at 5 and see it happen live. And learn how to protect your car. Don't miss this important Eyewitness News investigation Monday at 5 on Channel 5. If you don't get your news here... In a running here. gun battle... Hey, with a bullet flying... You don't get the it. The kidnapping... A wave of firebombing... Whether you're coming... A shocking story from a mid going. Back on I-85... From Atlanta's first news in the early morning... Morning. I'm Tom Hughes, 60 at 6. Good evening, I'm Dennis O'Hare. All day. Every day. Our top local story this you morning... You get it first. We have the latest information... Fast. On. Reporting live... And we have seen now for several hours... 105.7 FM... 640... News Radio WGST. If you don't get your news here... You don't get it. 6.40 a.m., 105.7 FM. News Radio WGST, Atlanta, Canton. The News Monster. You're listening to the Tom Likas Show on News Radio WGST. When you hear the phone number, please keep in mind that this is a pre recorded show, so please don't call. And thanks for listening to News Radio WGST. When it matters to you, it matters to us. 105.7 FM and 6.40 a.m. WGST. Aren't you tired of politics, politics, politics? Yes! We thought so. We offer variety at the Tom Likas Show. Yeah, 26 minutes before the hour. The Tom Likas Show. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. And uh, I do not understand some things about life. I do not understand why women send us men to the store to buy tampons. I don't get it. Well, we could talk about this. And, boy, the phones, you would be amazed. Some people will say, this is such a trivial thing. Why are you doing this? The phones are just jamming here. God. Let's say hello here to Mike. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Mike. Hello, Tom. What's up? Hey, what's up? And I'm glad you brought this up. You know, I'm, I'm one of those uh, long-suffering boyfriends that I've had to do this more than once for my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Going down to the store, buying tampons, holding bags in, in department stores. You know, it, it happens. See, I, I think I think once once you succumb to this stuff, you are essentially it's the very definition of being whipped. <laughs> you're that being whipped, be. Mike. You're being whipped. But, but you know what, Tom? One time I did get even. We're in a supermarket, me and my girlfriend, and I asked the guy loudly if they carried a huge box of tampons for my girlfriend, and she she died on the spot. Oh, really? Yeah. So if, if any guys out there listening, try that. That might work. That's a good one. Uh, my girlfriend's on her period right now, and she needs tampons. What would you recommend? <laughs> They'll never ask you again. That's how you exactly. end. That's how you end it right there. You got to nip that in the bud. Exactly, Tommy. You got to do something. You can't let that go on. That's right. Thank you, Mike. All right. Appreciate the call. Pam, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Pam. Uh, my comment is, since men aren't going to be using them, what's the big deal? Why be embarrassed? Since we all know they're not for them. Well, why ask us to buy them? There have been times where you feel like crap, and getting in a line at a grocery store is probably the last thing on your mind. But wait a minute. Why don't you just buy a big quantity of them? Well, it's not its not always as easy as it sounds. Oh, uh, come on. How hard is it to buy a large quantity of tampons? Come on. happens every month. Tell me why this is difficult. But let me tell you, when I use that last one, I'm happier than happy to be done. And I don't think about it. You just don't think about it. But why don't you, like, keep a case of them around? It, it doesn't always work that way, Tom. But you we, don't keep a case of, ta of uh, condoms around, I'll bet. Well, put it this way. When I'm using them in large quantities, 
I do. <laughs> and yes, my boyfriend has done it for me, and uh, will do it again. And he's even gone out in the middle of the night sometimes. Hang on a second, Pam. Richard, what do you think about that? I'm sorry? What do you think about what Pam just said? Uh, personally, I do not pick up uh, my wife's tampons. I've gone to, uh, uh, my wife and I are, uh, I've been married for 14 years. Uh, we just got a membership with uh, Costco. And you buy, like, massive quantities of everything. And I'll, like, I'll buy, like, tons of deodorant, tons of uh, wipe, uh, mm, tissue paper. And I'll say, hey, sweetie, you know, uh, pick up a, uh, you know, case of tampons. And she says, no way. And I say, why? She says, it's embarrassing. I say, why? You need to use them. We need to use the toilet paper. I need to use the razors. You know, what's the problem? And it's embarrassment. What do you think, Pam? Well, I, I am never embarrassed when I'm standing in line for and have them in my package, whether I'm buying just that or, or you know, hundreds of dollars worth of groceries. But it's it, it's not as easy as it sounds. And even though it is a bodily function of females, they don't think about it every day. You know, it's it's not something you're always thinking about. Let me ask you a question, Pam. Uh, you send a man to the store for tampons. Do you ever send him out for like Monistat Seven? I, unfor I fortunately don't have that problem. How though. about, all right, how about Massengill? Don't do it. All right, so, so this is the only feminine hygiene product you buy? Pretty much, that's it. Why in the world? Uh, and I've been monogamous and in a cohabitational relationship for 12 years, so. What, do you ever run out of soap, Pam? Yeah. You do? You, uh, you, you actually get in the shower and there is no soap in there? So you use shampoo. Richard, do you believe that? Um, to a degree, yes, yeah. Wait, wait, do you run out of soap? <laughs> uh, well, I've used uh, um, laundry detergent for my hair and things like that. You know, I've Laundry got... detergent will give you a rash. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I've made mistakes. Everyone does. I haven't used laundry detergent, no, but shampoo works just fine in a pinch. Right, exactly. <laughs> but you couldn't go to, like, Costco or Price Club, Pam, and pick up a case of tampons. Like, you can't do that. I'm not saying that I can't. Why won't you? Yeah. Um, I use, when I do buy the big boxes, Tom, and I use them over three months, I don't run out after the third month and, you know, immediately buy another huge box. Why don't you buy, like, a couple? I don't mean a box. I mean a case. Yeah, major case. You know, like like a, a, a case of boxes. Well, here's something. Here's a lame excuse. I live in a studio apartment. But oh, <laughs> God, oh. And usually, Tom, when I'm going through the checkout line, it's a box of tampons and about eight products of chocolate. So that's what I'm buying. And even if it's a man checker, I look at him and I say, yep, that's right. So you would, I think you just wouldn't want to be seen leaving the store with you know, 144,000 exactly. tampons. I just think you don't want to be seen doing exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Isn't that the case, Pam? No, it's not. Come on, I've got you on the run now. <laughs> it's something we don't... You, you guys may think we think about this all the time, but we don't. Okay. We have other issues on our mind. Well, you don't have to think about it because you'll just send us out to get more if you run out. And sometimes it does pop on you without uh, you being aware. Hmm. Um, stress will do it, and I myself, that happened too in September when I was under a lot of stress, and it was a week and a half early. So that's... It was out of nowhere. So... And you couldn't possibly go out and get them yourself. I have some. Don't worry about that. Okay. I'm relieved. Well, thank you both. Thank you, Tom. Pam and Richard. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. 19 minutes before the hour. My name is Tom Likas. This is the Tom Likas Show. I love hot cocoa. And I know I need calcium. Guess what I just found? Introducing Ovaltine Calcium Enriched Hot Cocoa. Just add hot water and get all the calcium that's in an 8-ounce glass of milk, plus extra vitamins and minerals. Mmm, with Ovaltine Hot Cocoa, I can have it all. Creamy, chocolatey taste, plus extra calcium. New Ovaltine Calcium Enriched Hot Cocoa. Great taste, extra calcium. Try it. Eating a pizza as long as Little Caesar's new pizza by the foot has its drawbacks. Timmy, will you pass me a napkin, please? What, Ma? I said pass me a napkin, please. What? A napkin, please. Okay, I copy. Little
Little Caesars new pizza by the foot. Nearly three feet of pizza and free Italian bread, just ten ninety nine. Carried out or have it delivered. Pizza, pizza. Delivery where available. Charges and restrictions may apply. Limited time offer. Prices may vary. This holiday shopping season, you might be looking for two types of gifts. You know, that personal, intimate kind for somebody you love and know real well. And the slightly more appropriate gift to be giving to somebody in the workplace, perhaps. Well, this is Punnett, and I've got the perfect answer for both. A gift certificate from Claiborne's, the full-service salon and day spa in Buckhead. Claiborne's is internationally recognized by a host of leading fashion magazines as one of the best salons in the country. Pick up Vogue, Glamour, Elle, Red Book, Town & Country. They've long known about Claiborne's international status. Led by acclaimed stylists Rita and Terry Claiborne, who have created the hair and makeup for celebrities across the world, Claiborne's is the perfect place to go for yourself after a busy day of shopping or as a gift for somebody with a gift certificate that could be applied for anything. Call this number, 239-9191 for an appointment. 239-9191. That's 239-9191 for Claiborne's in Buck Head. This is the radio station that made first fast and accurate an Atlanta tradition. 105.7 FM and 640 AM WGST. Sixteen minutes before the hour of the top like a show. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Sheila, first time caller to the Tom Like a show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sheila. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to tell you I love your show and I love you because you got balls and you need that on the radio, right? <laughs> I guess you do. <laughs> well, I was telling Julie, you know, I don't buy my plugs anymore here. I buy them in Germany because my mom's in Germany and I just have her either send me some here or when we went home to Germany for Christmas, they asked what I want for Christmas and I said, just give, her, give me some chocolate and give me some plugs because I'm not buying them here. Really? Why is that? <laughs> because it, it is just embarrassing. It seems like every time you go to the store and you have a bunch of, um, you know, tampons on the counter there, there's always a guy behind you and you always imagine, oh, they're probably thinking, oh my God, what is she going to do when she goes home with us? Well, she's probably going to uh, use them the way they're supposed to be used. What's the big deal? <laughs> right, but, you know, you got to think where you use them and how you use them and you don't want them thinking about that. Can I tell you something, Sheila? I'm more likely to think that if I see you with a cucumber. <laughs> them with oh, hey. tampons. Can I tell you? I, that, that, that's how I feel. <laughs> you got a dirty mind, but I would never... That's why you listen. Admit it. <laughs> I listen because I just love you. What can I say? <laughs> but I would never send my husband to do that. That is so embarrassing, and I don't know why women put their men through that. If it's embarrassing for them, don't do it to a man because they always stand there looking pathetic and looking like a wuss, and I always feel so badly for them. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sheila, thank you. Thanks. I appreciate the call. Sure, bye. Bye. Sarah, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you? Okay. Good. Hey, I would never send a guy um, to pick up these things for me because I don't think he'd come back with the right kind. <laughs> <laughs> we got curved maxis, curved tampons, deodorized dry weaves, wings, <laughs> ultra thin. Light absorbency, no applicator, cardboard applicator, plastic applicator. You are truly a scholar on there, this issue. There's no way he would come home with the right thing. I'd have to go back myself. And also, it's important to... Then what do you think of the women who do it? Why are they doing it? Especially taking that risk. Why are women doing this? I don't know. Maybe it's because they, they feel like guys deserve it or something. I mean, guys already have to listen to us complain about our cramps and everything, so I feel like they are, they are in on it. <laughs> I mean, my husband, he buys me chocolate when, when it's coming. So I see. I think that's enough. And I think we should stock up on these things because if all of a sudden it happens, you know, you have to go to the store and that's the one thing you're buying. Then it's even more obvious. Well, of course. Like this one time uh, that happened to me, and I was just buying some maxi pads, and I got this this little checker boy, and he looked at me just horrified. Paper or plastic? <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he looked just so embarrassed. <laughs> Sarah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the call. Isaac, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Okay, Isaac. You know, men are a bunch of suckers, I have to say. If you do it more than once, you're a sucker. I agree. I think you're whipped. Well, you know, like you say, how can you forget? 
It's like buying gas. You go to a gas station, you don't buy one gallon at a time. You <laughs> fill up your tank, That's right? That's right. You go somewhere where they sell bulk detergent, you don't buy one scoop. You buy enough that's going to last you for a while. That's exactly... You don't buy one egg, you buy a dozen eggs. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense, you know. Um, it's, I, I've done it before. It's not embarrassing for those that say it's embarrassing. They're not for me. It's obvious. Uh, and for the lady who said it, uh, she, she carries her husband's condoms. Uh, she's a sucker. I'd have him do it. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> no, but guys, I have some advice for you. You have to test your woman here. Uh, the next time she has some... Take a few out the box and set them to the side. Next time she's in the bathroom and she waits till she's stark naked to decide she needs them, go ahead to your little private stash and pull out a couple. I like that way there of you thinking. Go. I like he, that. He's all the last you till you till you get out of the shower and get to the store. That is, you know, and that's that's true, guys. If she ever sends you out to get them, just go to the Price Club for God's sake. That's right. Go to right. Costco. Go buy like a big case, a big like a size of like a refrigerator box. Right. And, and keep in the garage, keep in the closet, <laughs> and then when she needs them, you're not going anywhere. That's right. It's the last time you're going to be humiliated. Pull them out of your private stash and say, here you go. I like that, Isaac. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Have a good one. I appreciate it. You too. Mike, a first-time caller from a car phone in New York City. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Uh, not much, Mike. Hey, I just got to say something here. Uh, I drive for a living, right? My job, mm. I drive about a 1,000 miles a week or so. And I listen to all kinds of talk shows. It's kind of, uh, kind of uh, interesting. But I have never, ever heard a more pathetic topic than this one. Really? Come on. Well, yeah, I got a little clue for you here, Mike. There you go. You're on the Tom Ligas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, John. Yes, how you doing? Okay, how about you? Hey, this is the best topic you came up with. I love this topic. Oh, well, thank you. I got to tell you about a story. Okay, first, my wife, she wanted me to run down to the store and get her some tampons. Uh huh. I said, no. I said, there's paper towels in the kitchen, oh. and there's clean axes in the bathroom. Oh, there's my there. God. I'm in okay. shock. No. And she says, well, honey, I'm sick. I said, I'm sorry. I'm not going out there. So, so that was you, you stood up to her. You told her. I did. And then another time, it was a senior in high school, my girlfriend wanted me to pick you up pantyhose. I went and got the biggest sizes they had and brought her home to her. Oh, is that so? Oh, yeah. So she'd never ask you to do it again? No. Nope. And one thing, one way to get women back is have them go to an auto parts store and give them a lift and put, like, boinker fluid, muffler bearings, <laughs> and tell them to go there and pick up these parts for you. Can I tell you something? In the film business, uh -huh. uh, when you have, like, these people just starting out in the business, the, yeah. in the interns, it reminds me of what you just told me. Um, what they do to, like, it's like a, a hazing ritual they do with, with, like, new people in, like, the film business. They send them out to film supply houses. Okay. And, and tell them to go get sprocket holes. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys are like, you know, they they want to impress. They they start going on, and the guys at the film supply houses, they know this joke. So what they'll do is, you'll come in, you'll ask for sprocket holes. The guy will go, we're out of them, but I can tell you another place that does have them. And they just keep sending them from store to store to store. They go like for the entire day to these film supply houses trying to get sprocket holes. Oh my God, that's good. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like what you suggested. I like that. Hey, a while back, uh, you mentioned some uh, Arby's restaurant? Yeah. You know what Arby stands for, don't you? Roast beef. No, America's roast beef. Yes, sir. I had no idea. I, I, no, Arby, Arby, the name Arby. And, uh, th and this is interesting, although unrelated. Arby, A-R-B-Y. Arby is like R period, B period, roast beef. Okay, folks? I'm amazed how many people don't know that. Yeah. Eight minutes before the hour, my name is Tom Likas. You're listening to the Tom Likas Show. Can you still make big money today starting with very little cash? The answer is a resounding yes, according to Wade Cook's newest book, The Wall Street Money Machine. Now Mr. Cooks has recorded his cash flow seminar on cassette, and it's yours free for the asking. Call 1-800-872-7411. This one-hour cassette will show you ways of doubling your money every two and a half to four months. Learn about covered calls, rolling stocks, stock options, and more. 1-800-872-7411. Ask for Wade Cook's Income Formula Seminar Tape. That's 1-800-872-7411. 
When the pain of sore, stiff joints or muscles keeps you from doing the things you like to do, reach for mentholatum deep heating. There's no beating deep heating for warm, penetrating belief that is unsurpassed by any other cream or rub. As soon as you rub it on, deep heating, soothing, penetrating heat quickly restores flexibility to affected joints and muscles. The next time you choose a pain-relieving rub, remember, for serious pain relief, there's no beating deep heating. This is a 2050 Sports Update on News Radio WGST. Falcons record now 2-9 and nine as they beat the New Orleans Saints this afternoon at the Georgia Dome, 17-15. Other final scores, Detroit over Seattle, 17-16. Denver beat New England, 34-8. It was Washington beating Philadelphia, 26-21. Pittsburgh over Jacksonville, 28-3. Kansas City over Chicago, 14-10. And Buffalo beat Cincinnati, 31-17. Carolina over St. Louis, 20 20- 10 and Indianapolis beat the Jets 34 to 29. First quarter scores: San Francisco leads Baltimore 10 to 7. Houston over Miami 14 to zip and 14 zip. Arizona over the New York Giants and San Diego leading Tampa Bay 14 to third. 14 to 3 also in the first. Reporting on sports at 20 past and 10 of each hour. I'm Don Dornberg, News Radio WGST Sports. Tonight on NBC, it's all new must see comedy with Third Rock and Boston Common. Then, Brian Dennehy in an NBC world premiere movie. One serial killer can terrorize a city. I'm a predator. The wolf. But two serial killers can bring a city to its knees. No! Now, one cop stands in the crossfire between two evil forces. Brian Dennehy is Jack Reed. It's payback time, pal. Death and Vengeance, tonight on NBC. Mm, minor arthritis in my shoulder, and now my back hurts. Maybe I should slow things down a bit. Are you kidding? Here, try this new Flexol Ultra Plus. Oh? The package says it's got three pain relievers for lots of different pains. New Flexol Ultra Plus, the aloe vera-based pain rub with three pain relievers shown to be effective in a clinical test to bring deep, penetrating, long-lasting relief. Honey, I don't feel up to a movie tonight. Let's go bowling. New Flexol Ultra Plus with three pain relievers. Flexol Ultra Plus, effective relief for more kinds of pain. Use as directed. Ah, Steak and Ale's new signature herb roasted prime rib may sound intriguing, but it doesn't come close to describing all that goes into preparing it. First, we start with a tender aged cut of prime rib. Next, we carefully hand trim it. Then we blend fresh herbs, onions, garlic, and pepper together to create a special crust around our rib. Finally, we slow roast it and add a mellow old roux on the side. So we could call our new creation the tender aged, hand trimmed, herb crusted, slow roasted prime rib. Or we could let its tender taste speak for itself. The signature herb roasted prime rib. Need we say more? The latest of our signature taste. Only at Steak and Ale. Call today to reserve your table at Steak and Ale. And try our new signature herb roasted prime rib at Steak and Ale. Attention. That's what you'll get at your local Value Right Pharmacy. With over 5,000 independently owned Value Right stores nationwide, you'll find friendly service and prices that make you smile. And now get holiday savings on my Lanta Double Strength Antacid Anti Gas. 12 ounce original mint or cherry flavors, just $4.99. Use only as directed. At participating Value Right Pharmacies, Value Right, America's neighborhood pharmacy. For the store nearest you, call 1 800 880 Value. The people you've always trusted are where they've always been. 105.7 FM at 6.40 AM, WGST. Five minutes before the hour, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Joni, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Joni. How are you doing, handsome? Oh, not much. Just doing a radio show. Just cranking out the old sausage links today. Listen, here's the deal, Tom. First off, women do not use tampons every day. Therefore, you cannot use soap as a example. Women only use tampons maybe about one-seventh of every month, and sometimes not every month, and not the entirety of their life. Therefore, it's not like toothpaste or soap. Wait a minute. You use them every month. 
some like uh, well, like some women don't have a cycle all the time. But that but the point is, if they don't, that's the exception to the rule. Okay, well let's talk about exceptions then a little. You're gonna you're gonna talk about the women who have their period every five weeks, and sometimes every three weeks, and sometimes right. But still, at your twelve or thirteen times a year, it's gonna happen. Most likely, it's gonna happen. But you know, um, let's use enough, let's that's true. But let's not. Stick to ex exact. Like <laughs> Why not? Because and you know, come on, let's talk about exact science. Let's, a woman's bodily function is not an exact science. Well, let's let's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's let's show at the average woman for a second, okay? I, like that rare exception who has irregular intervals. All right, oh, fine. We'll make we'll make exceptions for them. The average woman, and believe me, I've known a few women. <laughs> the average woman has a menstrual cycle every month. Every month. I'd be interested to get up the statistics on that, but let's just go with, with the concept. If, if a woman does have a, a relatively regular cycle, you're saying she should be prepared. And what I'm saying is, is that it's not an item that she's thinking about every time she goes to the grocery store. It's not an item that she's thinking about every time she writes out a grocery list. It's generally a lot of times women want to put the whole concept of menstruation out of their mind. Why do you send us to get your tampons? Because it's, I, first off, I think that each guy probably reacts differently to it. I don't think that every guy has such a strong reaction as, as the, one, the ones you're referencing. The next thing is a lot of times if you were in a situation where you did make a mistake or didn't plan ahead, you're in a position where you don't feel well. You're, you, you really don't feel well. You're, 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 you're hurting. Your body hurts, I mean, when you're having your cycle. But based on this, you really ought to be prepared since it's so serious. But you know what? If you're not prepared and you're in an intimate relationship with a person... Come on, you, do, you don't do it. You mean to you tell me... You do it to that get that us involved. You do, it, you do it to make us prove we care about you. No, not by a long shot. That, that's, that's absurd. That's literally the most absurd thing I've ever heard. And the concept of having a woman go to the grocery store to per, or to send a man to the grocery store to purchase tampons so that we can mark our territory is is yet even more absurd. Uh, it's a woman who said it, Joni. That's all I can say. The Tom Likas Show. Twice the radio of any other Atlanta station. 105.7 FM and 640 AM WGST foot of snow that we're tuning in. Thank you for being a part of our program. We tell you to email us with topic ideas. And we get some pretty good ones. But every once in a while, we get a great one. This is great. Now, I don't mean that the situation is a great situation. I mean, it's a great story. And we'll make for great talk radio fodder. And I want to thank uh, our listener, Bob Asmus of Sacramento listening to us on Talk 650 KST because um, this is just an amazing story. An amazing story. Blows me away. This is what Bob had to say in his email and he quotes his source for this. And there's so many questions you will want to ask after, uh, <laughs> after you hear what he has to say. Here we go. The California Court of Appeals, 2nd District, has concluded that because the sexual intercourse was consensual, a minor had to pay support for his child born to a woman who seduced him, despite her conviction for statutory rape. Over a two-week period, 34-year-old Ricky Jones, 34-year-old Ricky Jones, had sexual intercourse with 15-year-old Nathaniel J. J is an initial, J period, because he's a victim. We don't want to reveal his name. 34-year-old Ricky Jones had sexual intercourse with 15-year-old Nathaniel J. period. Approximately five times. She became pregnant and gave birth to a daughter in January 1995. 
The court said, now uh, get this, this is amazing, and maybe it would be different in other states, but I doubt it. The court said that public policy did not protect Nathaniel from an obligation to support his child, even though the child was the result of statutory rape. This comes from the San Francisco Daily Journal. The date is November 6th of 1966. Correction, 1996. The County of San Luis Obispo versus Daniel J. I'm sorry, Nathaniel J. Yeah, the appellate report, page 13377. I don't think the sources are like real specific here. So, uh, you understand the deal, right? 15-year-old boy is a uh, quote-unquote victim of statutory rape. Therefore, we can't even reveal his last name. A 34-year-old woman has sex with a 15-year-old victim. She is convicted of statutory rape. During the times she had sex, in other words, during the time she was raping 15-year-old Nathaniel J., she becomes pregnant, gives birth to a daughter. So uh, now, the 15-year-old victim is required to support his child, even though the child was born as a result of his being victimized by a 34-year-old woman. They say it's because the sex was consensual. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, we'll get to that in a second. I, I have my own questions, but let's, uh, let's read you uh, our uh, list of... Bob Asmus, here's, here's what he says. Tom, do you think that if a 34-year-old man raped a 15-year-old girl, consensual or not, that would he, he would have any rights as to a child conceived as a result? I guess that means like visitation rights or something like that. Well, let's ask some other questions. Does this 15-year-old victim have visitation rights with the child he is forced to support? That's one question. Here's another question. This brings up so many questions. Here's another question. Uh, if the, uh, they, they talk about the sex being consensual. I thought that if you were under the age of consent, you cannot give informed consent. Therefore, it does not matter whether the 15-year-old consents. He's not capable of giving consent. Therefore, sex by definition cannot be consensual. Does that make any sense? I mean, imagine this. The victim of rape is responsible for child support. The victim of rape is responsible for child support in the state of California. This is outrageous. This is absolutely outrageous. I mean, either the 15-year-old is a victim or he's not. A 34-year-old woman has sex with a 15-year-old boy. Now, if a 34-year-old man had sex with a 15-year-old girl. Everybody would agree she's a victim, and obviously he could not become pregnant, but, I mean, there'd be no question about it. That 34-year-old man would be a dirty old man. There'd be nobody saying the sex was consensual. There'd be nobody saying that uh, anything except that the 34-year-old took advantage and was a rapist. He, was a, he, con he committed the, the crime of statutory rape. He's a rapist. He's a dirty old man. He's filthy, disgusting, horrible, terrible. In this particular case, a 34-year-old has sex with a 15-year-old who is you know, obviously at 15 in California. You are below the age of consent. How can you call that consensual sex if you're below the age of consent? I say if you're 34 years old and you seduce a 15-year-old boy and you become pregnant, that's your problem. That is your problem. This is outrageous. I had no idea it worked this way. I had no idea. You learn something new every day. So I want to thank Bob Asmus of Sacramento for turning us on to this story. Because I think it brings up a whole lot of interesting questions here. And we're going to get your reaction to the story. Here it is, toll free. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. 1-800-5800-866. Man. 13 minutes after the hour, my name is Tom Likas, and we will continue. Coast to Coast, the Tom Likas Show.
Attention investors, hello listeners, Patrick T. Parker here from Barclay Financial Corporation with what I consider to be some of the most exciting investment opportunities available in America today. Are you looking for above average returns and willing to take a calculated and an educated risk in order to achieve them? If so, consider this. Tight world energy inventories coupled with rising Asian demand and steadily increasing political tension in the Middle East could cause another sharp spike in energy prices this year. Right now, we feel heating oil prices are in a prime position to move substantially higher between now and winter. $10,000 at risk invested in heating oil options could buy 10 options on the New York Mercantile Exchange. 10 heating oil options would represent 420,000 gallons of heating oil and each one cent move in the option value, $4,200. A one cent move in the option value could return over a 20% net return on your investment. A two cent move in the option value over a 60% net return on your investment. And a three cent move in the option value over a 100% net return on your $10,000 investment at risk. Now remember, options and futures involve risk. No representations being made that any Barclay account will or is likely to achieve profits similar to those in this example. Learn more by calling the Barclay Financial's toll-free hotline right now and getting our free investor kit. Get the special market report on the energy markets. Get our free book, Buying Options on Futures Contracts as an Investment, and our free audio cassette. The call is free, the information's free, but the knowledge could be priceless. Call one 800 23 3-7-6-5-2-7 now. That's 1-800-237-6527. Call and get our free investor kit, complete with charts, graphs, and the special market report, as well as our free book on options and our free audio cassette. 1-800-237-6527. This is Patrick T. Parker saying good luck and may the great trades be yours. Monday at 5, it relieves tension and affects migraines, eliminates PMS and helps fight disease. Could the power to heal be at your fingertips? I feel great. I feel great. Eyewitness News investigates Monday at 5 on Channel 5. This November, the news to watch will watch out for you. Channel 5 Eyewitness News investigates every day at 5, 6, and 10. Eyewitness News investigates medical, consumer, criminal, exclusive. Showing you all sides of the story. Exposing the scams, rip-offs, and the truth from Georgia's leader in investigative journalism. Weekdays at 5, 6, and 10. Channel 5 Eyewitness News investigates. See for yourself. Monday at 5. Within a matter of minutes, your car could be turned to stolen parts. Watch Monday at 5 and see it happen live. And learn how to protect your car. Don't miss this important Eyewitness News investigation Monday at 5 on Channel 5. I told you this was a slow lane, Frank. But, but we're in the carpool lane. We're so late. Boss is going to kill us. What are we going to do? So, Frank, can we go nowhere any faster? Oh, don't get that, Frank. It could be the office. Let it ring. Um, uh, hello? Ah, Baxter! It's Baxter! Meow, 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 meow. Brand cat food has the variety of four delicious flavors cats love. In fact, it's the only cat food that tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. Again, and again, and again. This is a 2050 Sports Update on News Radio WGST. Bobby Abair tossed a pair of touchdown passes in Atlanta's 17-15 win over the New Orleans Saints this afternoon. The Falcons quarterback was nearly perfect, completing 26 of 29 passes for 229 yards against the Red Team. Abair came out next half with family scored his first touchdown of the season. Abair's pass to Terrence Mathis completed the score. Elsewhere in the NFL, finals this afternoon, Detroit beating Seattle 17-16. Denver over New England 34-8. Washington beat Philadelphia 26-21. It was Pittsburgh 28, Jacksonville 3. Kansas City over Chicago 14-10. Buffalo beat Cincinnati 31-17. Carolina over St. Louis 20-10. Indianapolis beat the New York Jets 34-29. Second quarter scores, San Francisco leads Baltimore 17-7. Houston over Miami 14-7. Arizona leads the New York Giants 21-3, and San Diego leading Tampa Bay 14-10. Sports updates at 20 past and 10 of each hour. Your next update at 5.50. I'm Don Dornberg, News Radio WGST Sports. Always first, fast, and accurate. This is 105.7 FM and 6.40 AM WGST.
You're listening to the Tom Likas Show on News Radio WGST. When you hear the phone number, please keep in mind that this is a pre recorded show, so please don't call. And thanks for listening to News Radio WGST. the hour of the Tom Likey Show. We're 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's go to your calls. Karen, first time call from a car phone. You're on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm flabbergasted that this woman even merits the right to keep this child. She's abused a 15-year-old boy, clearly illegal in the state of California, and now she thinks she has the right to raise another child when she already has a history of abuse? Oh, but it was confessed. 